Hi, in this video you will learn about Rostow tools, example Node Graph, RQT Console, RQT Plot, and Rostow Bag. This is a very important tutorial. You need to have a good hands-on with Rostow tools in order to debug and get an idea of the flow of the other project. The best thing is that this part is very simple and have a GUI for it which is RQT. Everything done in RQT can be done in the command line but RQT makes it simpler and user friendly. So uh, let's do practical. Open terminator and I will split the screen into some parts. Next, uh, run turtle sim node executable. So just type ROS2 run then turtle sim then turtle sim node. Next, we will run turtle teleop key executable. Just type ROS2 run then turtle sim then turtle teleop key. Just press double tab. Next, uh, type RQT and here go to the plugins, then introspection, then node graph. So here RQT graph provides a GUI plugin for visualizing the ROS computational graph. It shows the ROS system in terms of nodes, topics, data flow, etc. So here uh, we have this turtle sim node and turtle tally of, uh, tally of turtle node and these topics so turtle one cmd well which we have already seen next go to the plugin and login then console the rqt console is a gui tool used to introspect log messages in ros2 Typically, log messages show up in your terminal. With RQT console, you can collect messages uh, over time, view them closely and in more organized manner, filter them, save them and can even reload the saved files to introspect at a different time. So here, Here we will move the turtle and hit it to the wall. And now you can observe that in the console now we have the messages. These are the warning messages. Now if you double click on the message. So we just uh, double click on the message, you will get a uh, detail of about this message, like the message, then the time, then severity, then node, even the location. So just close it. In the middle, you have the exclude message section, where you can filter the message by excluding severity level for example if i click on uh, if i click on any of this like debug info warn error so just click on warn so now we don't have this uh, warning messages getting displayed and you can add more exclusion filters using plugin button on the right for example you can exclude exclude messages from particular node, you can exclude messages from particular certain time range, etc. Now in the bottom section, you have the highlight message section where you can highlight messages as per the filter. For example, you can highlight messages from particular node, you can highlight messages of certain time range. Here, 
let's select this uh, from time range and we will change uh, this time range and now you can observe that certain messages are highlighted because we set the uh, this time constraints now ROS2 logger levels are ordered by severity here even you can save the uh, log messages so if you click here you can save the messages in the csv file now ROS2 logger levels are ordered by severity which is uh, this fatal then error then warning info debug so you should explore of further about rqt console next uh, go to the plugins then visualization and plot so rqt plot provides a gui plugin to visualize numeric values in a 2d plot using different plotting backend so here just type ROS2 topic type then turtle1 post so it's of type turtle sim message then post now we'll get the prototype of uh, this message so just type ROS2 interface proto and then this message type So now we got uh, the prototype of this message, this x, y, then theta, and linear velocity, linear velocity, angular velocity. So we need uh, inside this topic we have this x, y value. Now here just type turtle one pose and then slash x, like we have this x, y, theta. So you can just type x and click on this plus and now uh, you can observe that we we are plotting the x value now we can pan uh, click on the plan tool and move to the plot now uh, we'll move this turtle so this graph uh, which is at uh, which is fixed so the x value will be cha will change just keep it always on top and move the turtle so here you can observe that this uh, graph is changing because we are moving the turtle similarly you can add y data also and you can save the plot So similarly type Y and click on this plus sign and we have this Y value. Next close this RQT and the last tool which we'll explore is ROS2 bag. A ROS2 bag is a command line tool for recording data published on a topic in your system. It accumulates, it accumulates the data passed on any number of topics and save it in a database. So you can then replay uh, the data to reproduce the result of your test and experiment. Recording topic is also a great way to share your work and allows others to recreate it. So firstly, we will install ROS2 bag just type sudo apt install then ROS foxy then ROS2 bag and ROS foxy then ROS bag 2 and star So just type Y. Now we'll record the data published on topic Turtle1 CMD well. 
so here you can observe that uh, we can use this command this info play record just open turtle sim and tell your key we'll keep it always on top and just type ros2 then bag then record and then the topic name is turtle1 cmd well just type uh, dub, just press double tab and so and now we will move the turtle so these data are uh, we are saving it in the back file now just press control c so it is saved in uh, this location so here you can observe we have this back file and the data is accumulated in this back file with the name pattern of this ros to bag then the year then the month and then day then hour then minute and then second now let's get more information about this file so go to the terminator and just type ros2 we'll use this info command so just type ros2 yeah uh, firstly we'll move to that folder ros back folder and press enter yeah now just type ros2 bag then info and then the back file back file name just press double tab it will automatically come and here you can observe uh, the information about this back file like this topic information so we are recording this topic turtle one cmd well then the messages so we have this 35 message stored in this back file then the start date uh, start date end date etc next we'll try this uh, play command so just move to that uh, ros back file location and then type ros2 back then play then the back file name just press double tab now just uh, we'll close this turtle sim and again start the turtle sim at the default location yeah now keep it always on top and we'll run run this command now you can observe that our turtle is exactly following the same path which we recorded so uh, if you are giving an interview for ross engineer profile then mostly after the interview you will get some task in which you will get a ross back file and you need to solve some problem statement ross back is a great tool for sharing your work with others or introspecting on your own ross experiment so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like this video and learn something new if you like this video please give us like and subscribe to our channel and keep learning